Hey, it's Ayana. Duh. Anyway, <laughs> I wanted to do this video again because as I grow, I learn more. And as I learn more, the better it gets. Plus, in that video, I was under my cover. It was probably cold or something. I don't know. And it was all shifty sounding and crazy sounding. So I want to do a better version of this. And I'm learning more. I'm learning more. The beauty of radical acceptance. Radical acceptance expands as your vibrations rise. Sometimes we're in a point of our lives where our vibrations aren't as high as they could possibly be. And because of that, we find ourselves in situations that are horrible and very difficult to make peace with, very difficult to find joy in, very difficult to find joy within ourselves in the situation. In that video, I talked about how my situation living with my parents, it was impossible for me to be around because I was around so much toxicity, right? So I had to radically accept it and remove myself from the situation. My vibrations have raised beyond that. I've, I'm out of alignment with those experiences in my life. And so as I become out of alignment more, I upgrade to a better version of myself. And I know there's a better version to come. That's what happens in life, right? As I've been living in my car, the reason why I didn't have many examples or speaking about radical acceptance, about me being in my car, was because I didn't fully radically accept the fact that I lived in my car. Every day, my goal was to get out my car. Every day, my goal was to get more money. Every day, my goal was anything but accepting where I was right now. And because of that, I didn't allow myself joy. I didn't allow myself the joys of life. And I found myself repeating the same patterns that I've done in the past. One major pattern that I've repeated many times in the past is that any home that I lived in, I never allowed myself to enjoy the home. I never allowed myself the pleasures of doing things just for fun without worrying so much about money, right? I have a new mindset, a new uh, a mental shift. I'm shifting out of thinking like a poor person and I'm shifting out of thinking about somebody who lacks and thinking more like someone who has abundance. When you're in a situation in life where many people are on the outside looking in and even yourself looking in within yourself, you feel as though you have nothing. There's nothing in life. Oh, I'm so poor. Oh, I have no home. Oh, I have no food. Oh, I'm this. Oh, I'm that. You lose track of presence, of now. What do you do have now? What you have to be grateful for right now? I have so many things to be grateful for. I am finally shifting to accepting the fact that I live in my car and making peace with it, fully making peace with it. At first I was okay with it, but I wanted to be out. But now I'm okay with it in totality. Finally. I'm moving towards being okay with it in totality. The idea of finding a house or finding houses has left me. And I know it's one day it'll be a goal of mine, but I don't want to not enjoy and appreciate the experience of living in my car because I'm too busy thinking in the future because I'm not present in my situation now. I just made a video on this. Presence is peace, right? Presence is peace. And I'm seeing that more now. When all your focus is somewhere in the future, something that's beyond what you have and not appreciating what you have right now. This is crazy because I said this in my other video. Full circle. Not appreciate what you have now. You find yourself not seeing the beauty that's around you, not appreciating the beauty that's around you and not enjoying it for what it is. I said this in my other video, but I, even in that video, I didn't fully realize how much I was missing out on accepting and loving my situation. I love my situation now a lot more than I did before. I've experienced things that I've never experienced before in the most beautiful, profound way, in a way that I never would imagine. Sometimes in life we get so caught up in our pains and our struggles and the things we don't have, the things we wish we had, 
that we don't sit and appreciate the beautiful, wonderful, miraculous things that we have. We don't sit and appreciate and sit down and think a higher power or whatever. Think ourselves like, oh my God, I'm so happy I have this right now. There's so much to be thankful for right now. I wake up in the morning and right outside my my car door, there's this grass full of weeds. <laughs> So I can't even call it grass, a patch of area full of weeds. And there's a pretty good sized patch of beautiful flowers. I'm actually going to make it my the cover for this video, right? Beautiful flowers, these purple flowers that just are growing there. Most people call it weeds. And then there's white flowers and there's small yellow flowers and small pink flowers all growing in this patch and a whole bunch of weeds. And there's an ant hill that I feed every once in a while. You know, I gotta give my aunt some, some food. <laughs> and there's a cute little kitty that comes out. She or he doesn't wanna be bothered by nobody. But that's such a beautiful thing to witness. And it might seem so simple, but I remember once upon a time, I was on a shrimp trip, the first time I ever took magic mushrooms. And I was living in a house and the backyard was all weeds. There was no grass, <laughs> all weeds. And I was on that shrimp trip and I saw the beauty of the weeds for the first time in my life. All the small flowers, this tiny berry that looked like a, a, a strawberry, didn't taste like it, but it looked like a strawberry. So many different plants. And I just sat in the grass in joy and just admire the beauty of it. And I look out this grass today and I said to myself, wow, if I was on a shrimp trip right now, this would be heaven. <laughs> And it's wonderful just to appreciate the small things in life like that. And it really requires you to be present. If you're all up in your head about how much you hate your life, how much you don't like what's going on, how much you wish things were better, how much all the stuff just coming from a place of lack, coming from a place of negative thinking and wishful thinking, instead of accepting and being in the moment, when you're just being in the moment, you realize life for the first time. The beauty in the gift of just living. The beauty in the gift of life alone. Life alone. The experience of life. And the life witnessing other things, other beings experiencing life. I appreciate the bugs, even seeing the flowers and the butterflies that fly to get the nectar and the bees that come around for the pollen and these little bugs I have no idea what they are that just fly around in groups around the flowers and the grass and the animals and the cute squirrels I say hey squirrely anytime I see a squirrel <laughs> squirrels are really cute y'all I don't know there's a lot of squirrels where I'm at and they're adorable right there's so much things to be grateful for in life and you miss it when you don't accept things, when you don't accept your situation. Now that I finally accepted the fact that I live in my car and I don't know when I'm going to get out of my car, I've learned to live every single day like it's the best day of my life. Like I'm where exactly where I want to be. Even if it's not always where I want to be, it's where I want to be right now because that's where I am right now. I got this cast iron skillet and I build a fire because I want to cook outside and I enjoy it. I love it. I miss cooking. It brought me so much joy. And all I could think about was getting a cast iron skillet cooking on the grill. It didn't shut up. All me would have ignored it because it's like, oh, I don't want to buy too much stuff because I'm going to move soon and blah, 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 all up in my head, all in the future and not in the present. But new me says, I want to cook and I don't want to wait to cook. I want to cook tomorrow because I've been thinking about it all week. So I'm going to get this cast iron skillet and I did. And I'm so grateful that I did that because now I get to experience the joy of cooking like I did before. It's a very important lesson to learn when you finally accept stuff the way it is, where you are right now. You learn to find joy within your life. You make your life a more joyful situation instead of marinating in the misery and wishing 
in living so much in the future or ruminating about the past of the shoulda, coulda, woulda, maybe I wouldn't be here or the I don't want to be here, I want to be there. But you're here. You're here right now. Sit here and look at yourself. Where are you right now? Where are you right now? Ask yourself that. Where am I right now? And what about right now do I enjoy? Do you have a phone? Congratulations! Because not everybody has a phone. Do you have a computer? Congratulations! Because not everybody has a computer. And don't say you don't have one of these. Because how are you looking at this video? <laughs> do you have grass outside? Congratulations. You have grass. Because some people ain't got no grass. Did you eat today? Wow. What a thing to be grateful for. Because I was starving once upon a time. And there's other people starving right now. Right? Do you have a home right now? Do you have a roof over your head? Do you have a job? Do you have something to be happy for? Look at this damn fruit fly, y'all. Hey, I'm grateful for the fruit flies, too. I don't know why, but I'll figure out why. <laughs> Do you have something you're grateful for, y'all? Sit and take time and appreciate everything that you have in your life. Everything. Because there's beauty in all of it. As someone who's gone through a situation in my life where I felt like I lost so much, I still sat and I was grateful for what I had because I know what it's like to have more and lose it. And I know that I could lose more, but I didn't. And I'm grateful for that. If anything, I've gained more than I could ever have imagined. Even if it's not external and material things, I've gained things here and I've gained things here. And I appreciate that. I appreciate every day that my life improves. I'm accepting where I'm at right now. I'm learning to fully accept where I'm at right now in any given moment. No matter how tough things get, no matter how bad my situation might seem, I'm learning to accept it and appreciate it fully because it could always be worse. But even when it's worse, it's not even bad. No matter what things happen in my life, no matter what happens in my life, no matter what I don't have, I should accept it, accept it and, and love it for what it is. Because there's joy in every experience. When you get through certain things in life, you learn so many tools that you never had before. And it helps you become a better version of yourself each day. You're rebuilding yourself each day with every experience you have. May it be difficult or not, however you want to judge it. And it's not a reason to get down on yourself, all bogged down and say, man, I hate this, I hate this, I hate that. Why does this have to happen to me? Why? Why could I just be happy? Why couldn't I just that? Shift your mindset. Be glad it was you. Be glad it was you. Because when you get through it, when you have the will to get through it, you will see why it was you. You will understand full-fledged why it was you and the importance of this experience. I could sit there and be mad at my parents all fucking day. And be like, fuck you, fuck this, and, and hate them for everything that I went through. For their narcissistic ways. For their unloving ways. But I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for it, and I see why I went through that now. I understand why I needed to go through what I went through. It's so that I can understand what love really meant, what love really is. It's to not let others bring me down. To understand the importance of lifting myself up despite my circumstances, despite poor parenting, despite what others have to say about me. To cultivate that strength within myself, that love within myself to get through anything in life. I appreciate my parents. I can't have them in their life, my life short. But I appreciate them being in my life and when they were in my life because now I know better. And I've accepted that. I've accepted that past part of me. 
And it's time for me to move on to better things. And better things always come. Better things always come. But only when you accept. And you make peace with every given moment in your life. Life is a beautiful journey. And every moment must be recognized. So that you can fully realize the beauty that life is. And you'll see how beautiful it is. There's beauty in the struggle, like J. Cole says. Beauty, beauty, beauty. <laughs> This beauty in the struggle, okay? Just accept it. Accept all of it, every moment. And make joy. Create your own joy. Create your own joy. That's all I got to say, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that no matter where you are in your life right now, you're accepting it for what it is. And you're seeing the wonders of this journey and if you feel like you're holding yourself back and not doing what you need to do change make a change the only constant is change change your mind change your environment do what you can control change what you could control and not only you could change you okay accept the reality of where you're at and make a change if something doesn't suit you anymore make a change you do not have to succumb to your environment or what you got going on, what other people got going on. You can make the change. That's all I got to say. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Like I said, comment, like, subscribe. Check out the description. If you want to support me on this channel or you want to get a third call session or a reading, whatever, check out the description. All right, y'all. Peace.